So the step before execution, really the final step, is to prepare the template, make sure that it can be executed. What we do is we assign the template to a task list. We do that by creating a date and a status assignment to the template. This is called a task list. We will create it periodically and you will see the demo in the next screen. You will see how it works, how it is saved, and then we will be free to go on to the final step and actually execute our tasks. On this slide, we just wanted to make sure that you see the steps to get to the preparation transaction. It is going to be very similar to opening a template, except that you choose the task list. There's a new step, which is create a periodic task list. We create a monthly one and we create it to run in the foreground. And then we'll also show you in the next video how to make sure that the status is released. Afterwards, you will see that your task list name and the date is saved. So in this step, we're going to prepare the closing cockpit template for a periodic task list. We have to do this before we can actually execute our transactions. So from the closing cockpit menu of transactions, we'll go on preparation. It's going to look just like you're customizing with your closing structure panel here, your task grid here, your tabs down here. So we're going to go ahead and open the template as we've done before. Open. We're with the Z template right here. And then we have here the closing structure, very familiar. Now here's where it gets a little bit new here. We go into more, we go into template task list, create periodic task list. I'm going to move the screen over for us. So we go to more, template task list, create periodic task list. Okay, this is perfect. So here we have our task list default. We're gonna have the key date. This would usually be probably period N, but for right now, we're gonna put it in as today's date is the default. The closing type, well, we're into the monthly right now, okay? Here's um, the notes that we had mentioned before. If the status is not released, you will not be able to execute in the next step. If you save it here, you can come back and change it and release it. But since we're here, let's put it in released, okay? There's a continue button at the bottom of the screen I'm going to press. And then we get the message, do you want to schedule the tasks? I'm not going to do it in background, but it's an option. I'm going to hit yes in foreground so we can execute them. Okay. Now it just says preparation display list Z template. Now this is interesting. Now you see the date next to it. So that is pretty much the identification that we have for it. Okay. Now we're going to get to the next step.